This is Dr. Heidi Cohen, pediatric emergency physician at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. In the state of Florida, there are six poisonous snakes. You see snake bites here. What kinds of snake bites, and do you have advice for parents dealing with these? Um, we see all different types of snake bites, both venomous and non-venomous. Um, of the venomous ones that I've experienced, we've had a number of coral snake bites and a number of cottonmouth snake bites. So the first thing to do is to remove the child from a second attack because the snake that's biting is threatened and could bite again. So if your child gets bit by a snake, remove him from that immediate location so that the snake doesn't attack again. The second thing that we recommend is that you stay calm because your anxiety level, again, will be directly transmitted to your child. You can bring the child to the emergency room and we will take care of you. You do not need to bring the snake with you to the emergency room. You may, if you can, take a picture of the snake to help us identify the snake. But bringing the snake, especially live, to the emergency room would not be appreciated. Are there some myths, and what advice could you give parents on what not to do? Well, one of the um, oldest myths is that after a snake bite, you apply a tourniquet, which is a tight uh, rope around the extremity that was bit, to supposedly inhibit the venom from traveling to the body. This is not something that we would recommend any longer. No tourniquets need to be applied applied to extremities after snake bites. Another common myth is that the wound needs to be suctioned and that it would be appropriate to actually apply oral suction to the wound. Again, another myth, suctioning the wound is not something that we recommend and we would prefer that you don't do that. You're um, more likely to infect the wound than you are to do any good by removing any venom. A third myth that we have is that the snake bite needs to be cut in a crosswise fashion and drained. We do not recommend cutting into the snake bite. This will only, again, introduce infection into the wound.